my husband Paul was diagnosed with stage four lung cancer as a senior resident, uh, neurosurgery resident at Stanford, um, and then turned toward writing in the last year of his life um, and wrote the manuscript for When Breath Becomes Air at that time. And when he died, um, the manuscript was like a, a Word document on his computer, and it was published about 10 months after he died. And I remember I asked his agent at the time and said, you know, this book is coming out and Paul's not here to promote it, and how do you think it's going to do, and what do you think is going to happen? And she said it really depends whether people want to read a book about dying uh, by a person who recently died. And it's been so interesting. It was on the New York Times bestseller list for over a year. And I think the congregants in this room um, are hoping that we're entering sort of a different way of thinking about living and dying and that intermingling and how do we find purpose and how do we find meaning um, in both life and death. And I think the fact of, um, you know, Paul following in the wake of being mortal uh, and these bigger conversations we're having culturally sort of really speaks to an exciting, interesting moment 